Hello there! Welcome to the stream and thank you very much for the follow. Let's play pin, pin, pin ball. So, Adelaide, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. Wait a minute. I think I actually launched the wrong game. Yep, I did. My mistake. See, this is what happens when I happen to rush myself. So, where we last left off in ATS was uh, we were trying to go through and travel the routes less traveled. So, as uh, my previous goal that I actually did in Euro Truck Simulator was attempt to get everything explored. Every little nook and cranny. So, we're going to try and do the same again today. Um, so, basically, we're just going to head to Dalarush Azua. And also San Simmons uh, overpass and exchange, because those are going to be tricky getting there. And getting all those roads uh, clipped. But we're going to have a little bit of a fun time just exploring most of the map. So, because um, no one actually did really come up with uh, much of a request, so... And for those of you that are interested, you can play around with the radio. The music is up to you. For those of you that are interested in choosing the music selection for this evening, uh, please feel free to go ahead and do so by typing in explanation point SR and typing in a song request uh, for anything from the Monster Cat uh, catalog of uh, songs, because that is the only thing I have license for, for right now. So you're more than welcome to actually check those out. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and add one song into the list right now. Well, I already forgot the commands, but they are actually listed in my description, so I'm terribly sorry. Oh, right, and I need to change the volume, so let's go ahead and do that too.
got too much brake. Shame on me. Everyone needs a nice relaxing drive through the countryside, but seeing as how I've been getting upset with the uh, police department in this game, every single officer has been giving me a speeding ticket. I might have a little bit of a road rage tonight, but you're also welcome to go ahead and play around with the radio, make a music selection. As for me, I am currently adding in Sugar Rush, my personal favorite song uh, from the entire Pixel uh, Artist album uh, that's actually available through Monster Cat. So, Hopefully that plays. There we go. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm actually texting and driving right now. Responding to some text messages. If we crash, we know why. Texting and driving is dangerous. But anyways, uh, no, nobody judge me if I can't read a sign. Because my sight is so poor I can't even read anything. All I can do is identify blurs. And yes, this is the same for in real life. Oh, you'd so be into getting a commercial license and then driving a truck, uh, almost almost 25 miles over the speed limit and getting away with it. Trust me, I'm not going to get away with it for very long. Lights up, we know it's a police officer. And it's yellow, it's not! Yay! We got the hammer down, let's see how fast we can take this puppy. 
That's right, you better move out of my way. I'm out of control. take it off-roading if I wanted to, but granted the closest thing you can get is back roads without toll routes or uh, way stations, and uh, there's actually a few actual real-world truckers that I've actually got as uh, viewers that have actually taught me a few of their little tips and tricks, uh, where they always try to travel the routes that have the least number of way stations. So that's part of the reason why it's not odd to find a few trucks taking back roads that are not really rated for semi-trucks. Because no one really wants to stop in at a way station. I know I get annoyed by it. But hey, what can one do? Also, that reminds me. You gave me a follow and I forgot to do something for you. There you go. So a few additional bonus points to go towards whatever the heck you like. Uh, unlocking the game giveaway for the month. Uh, joining me on my personal Discord. Uh, selecting a game that you'd like to see me do for a folks stream to see how I play it, or what I'd react to it, um, if it's a game I've already played, basically watch me speed through it, <laughs> because I completed Deadpool in five hours, I believe, yeah, roughly. Now, I'm probably not going to be streaming for very long tonight, because I still have a massive headache. you with my high beams. <laughs> Up there's a cap. That's the officer. God darn it. Take that officer. I will have none of your shenanigans.
you missed the conclusion to Deadpool. Gutter! Welcome! Thank you very much for the host! So, yep, the focus stream for the one game is now currently done. Uh, the other game that was on the playlist, I am still waiting for approval from Twitch to actually add the game to the list so that way I can at least perform or play it. Even though Rini went out of her way to send me a copy of it too. Even though it kind of goes against the game request list, so... But, uh, to those of you that are interested in getting me a few goody games, uh, those do also happen to be available in my wish list. So, those of you that are interested in checking out my wish list, uh, or sending me a good game, uh, that would all be done through the wish list system as well. Yeah, like I said, uh, in, uh, on Tuesday, that there was like 30 minutes left to the game, so the odds of me actually completing the game in a single sit-down, probably even less than one hour, would be easy. Yay! There's Connor! So, whoever wants to fiddle the radio, feel free to go ahead and do so, because A, you can choose your songs from the Monster Cat album. Actually, I forgot to do something. So I was going to try and travel the road less traveled, so... That should put me on a path uh, for at least traveled route. And uh, let's see, let's do this as well. Make it hard and difficult for myself. Oh, wait, hold on, what's this? What is this? Oh, rest station, is there a way station? Nope, nope. Hi, Jinx! Aw, thank you very much, buddy, for the bits. You are my first bit user. That should be a very interesting route. Uh, that's a route that will put hair on the chest. Alright, let's travel it! <laughs> Alright, huh, Jinx? You can go stand in our chat all you want! And terribly sorry, I actually did not stop to actually read the uh, chat messages. Uh, let's see here. So, Carter, you had a six-hour job that should have taken 15 minutes. Well, terribly sorry to hear that, but it happens. So, thank you, Hijinx, to being my first bit user. 
So, thank you very much. I think we want to cross the streams. I think I might have missed an important part of chat, but here's what I'm learning. I have to turn my head at least 90 degrees just to be able to read chat, so... <laughs> Took that turn a little too fast. Thank you everyone for tuning in now. Uh, if you haven't missed it during the Deadpool stream uh, section of the stream, uh, actually had around uh, 13 viewers, so I guess everyone left just before the boss fight, so.
So don't be shy, folks. Feel free to choose a song at random. I won't be angry. different pixel song I was trying to pull up, but hey, that works. Sugar Rush. Me like see the Sugar Rush. Cause everyone loves sugar. Everyone's gonna like the Sugar Rush. And we're hauling fertilizer, so gotta get something sweet. But thank you, Luke. Actually came in after the song played, uh, the Luke. <laughs> so. But yeah, plenty of selections to go with. I'm hoping when I do happen to get a little bit more time, I might be able to actually add some more songs. I mean, it's mostly anything on SoundCloud, but. Um, Oh crap. Was it ready for a stop sign? Um, but anything that happens to be on SoundCloud is actually a better option. And I'm hoping to get um, a couple playlists put together for um, Spotify. So, I mean, I already have my not so friendly copyright infringement music um, for Spotify with uh, mostly the uh, Blue Serena music uh, from Rebel Galaxy uh, compilation, so I still have that. I'd like to try and put it together, but uh, sadly enough, the music does not want to play through Nightbot controls, so that leaves me a little depressed. It makes the JD all so sad. So sad. Moppy moppy sad. gonna try and pull them there since I need to get back on the road anyway, so it's not gonna be a friendly way to exit.
But hey, at least we are finally traveling the roads less traveled. We're exploring rooms and attempting to unlock the map. Because I managed to get this achievement in Euro Truck Driving Simulator before they started adding uh, more uh, to the expansion packs, so I was actually exploring every teeny tiny little lip and cranny uh, long before they even included uh, map markers and bookmark uh, waypoints. So, kind of been doing that again here, um, so... So, sort of a leave no stone unturned. Oh, I guess we could have tried for a delivery to here. These delivery runs all the way to these construction zones are always fun. Especially when you get backed up with traffic. Tailgating! Oh yeah, I have been in this town before. I actually had to drop off something here a little while back. Now, granted the... Last time I really went through and actually played this game so seriously that I was trying to get leveled up so fast, I'd already explored the entirety of the map um, of California and um, and uh, Nevada. So I was just kind of a bit upset uh, to find out that I had to redo all the exploring. But granted, it's kind of a good good upset because it forces me having to learn all the new little nooks and crannies. I guess I should stop in and get fuel as well, so... Actually, I should also stop in to get uh, repairs, too. Um, let's just do this. Let's go ahead and remove that. Once I get into town, I guess I'll take care of that. Because I've done quite a bit to the truck. So, I want to touch it up. Don't want to, you know, overdo it.
And jackknife. Perfect. This will work. station and then we'll stop off at the stop off on the way out. After we get this uh, teeny tiny piece of the road. There we go. Now we got the corner. Character is quite tired. I'm so glad I took a nap, or else I'd be, uh, damn it, monkey see, monkey do. Darn the yawn. The yawn that rules it all. I had the differentials on. <laughs> Whoopsie! Come on, you idiot. You're already out in the red light. Ready. Finish that turn. Jeez. And we'll park here to be a douche.
really hoping I'd see Peter by now. Uh, find out uh, how that uh, new cab truck of his that he was supposed to be getting. A uh, new Volvo. Hope you at least got photos of it by now. Get a little funny with the horn, all because I like the music. Less traveled. Hopefully, this will uh, be able to unlock more of the roads. Huh. Guess no one really likes traveling down Main Street. actually making any song requests at all, but I guess all these songs uh, are all technically the same. I mean, it's all dubstep, but hey, it's all I can afford.
Well, that's one way to miss the turn. later. Actually drive smack into them to have them discovered. series. I'm kind of curious as how how this would actually turn out if you could actually drive semi-trucks and all that since uh, in the Fallout world I would love to actually be doing you know commercial trucking in the Fallout world. But they got Pac Brahman for that so. Folks that walk the ways with the battle cattle. Actually, um, Avalier was asking earlier if I'd do anything off-roading, so there we go, Avalier. Accommodated. <laughs> I can't, might as well block it up. Thanks a lot, fella, for turning on your damn turning signal. I didn't see it. Ooh, a Monday seafood buffet. Don't mind if I ignore it. Ugh, hate seafood. Especially seafood in a desert. It just raises even further questions as to the actual extent and cost of that.
traffic was healed to me. I am blunt. Yield to me! Yes! Yield! Ha ha ha! Ah, oh, good. Glad I got this entire overpass section, too. I didn't want to have to travel the whole damn thing. But if they got the whole section, that means that these are... Puzzle pieces, jigsaw pieces, so that's good to know. I will be seeing more of that like that. I mean, some of these clover leaf options are pretty interesting. I'm doing 18 wheel drive, but I might be doing a little bit of maximum overdrive. You had to do a photo shoot after work? Ooh, any. Ooh la la. But nonetheless, welcome to the stream, Renny. Uh, terribly sorry, but you already missed the ending to Deadpool. So, yeah, I knocked that out long before the actual start time of my stream. During the early pre-stream, so. So here we are. We're trekking across uh, a couple states of U.S. Short 30 minutes, so nothing majorly lost. Aw, Vini, thank you very much for the host. Greatly appreciate it. And looky looky at the top, you can see that Hijinx is my top cheerer. So, still thank you very much, Hijinx, if you happen to be watching or listening or eavesdropping or monitoring. Okay, this is an interesting song now. Anyway, since we got a long road to travel ahead of us, how's everyone's day been treating them? Looking forward to the weekends. Looking for the fun-filled Friday. So those of you that haven't really checked out the event listing, I do happen to have the remainder of the weekend planned out. Even though I will not be streaming on Sunday. Uh, so those of you that would like reminder notifications, feel free to go ahead and sign up for those. Oh, 
you have a meeting. Oh, so you're a regional traveler? Oh, this is my turn. This is my turn. This always happens when I decide to read chat. <laughs> on the road? Never! Well, technically I, I attempt to, but it's hard for me to actually read chat when I uh, have to actually turn my head a great deal of distance, so... I even have to look around my uh, my microphone, too, because I don't actually have a, an arm for, uh, for holding my microphone, so... So, it blocks a, a section of the screen as well, so I got a separate computer that actually hosts some chat and type... UFO! 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 So hoping we can see it again. There we are. Wow. So UFOs. Okay, now to get myself out of this pickle, I'll just jack my jackknife my uh, my truck again. There we go. like a real trucker. Well, no Tarzan. Welcome to the stream nonetheless. And, uh, ah, there's a good number of truckers I know of that actually do pay attention to the roads. Most of the times, they're not really sightseers like me. I'm just doing this now because I'm trying to get every little road less traveled, so. And, uh, in doing so, uh, basically, here, let me just go ahead and give you a quick peek -see. Uh, As you can see, I got a good chunk of the map, uh, not really traveled yet. Um, even though I've lost most of California, so I had to re-go back through and I have to re-travel all these routes again, just to re-explore them. So this is more or less just a stream to try and pick up all the, uh, the little side routes I haven't, uh, gathered yet. But that's what I was in. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us. So if you got a song request as well, uh, from the Monster Cat, uh, music album, uh, please feel free to go ahead and put that request in. If you do not know what Monster Cat is, there is a command available on my description here on my channel. Um, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the description to actually find the chat commands for the bots to put in a song request. And if you stay in chat long enough, you can actually earn enough points to help unlock the community game giveaway. My plan is to, once that uh, giveaway is actually unlocked, I plan to give away a copy of Rebel Galaxy is my, uh, is my goal. And not to worry, I do plan to stream it, so that way if you're not interested or if you're not sure if you're interested in it, I've actually streamed it before, but... I plan to actually stream it as a focus stream once the community goal is unlocked. So it requires up to uh, at least eight people to unlock it. So, so if you like giveaways, that might be something to take into consideration. 
so Rennie, you're going to be traveling, huh? Is there a time that you don't have to travel a whole lot? Or is it's the ways of your job? This must be the lake that they get all the fresh seafood from. Oh, you're going hunting? So did all those hump day hunts finally get to you and you had to tell your boss, I need to travel on business uh, to go hunting? Or it's just the location's a hunting cabin. Good save, good save, yes. Muck me! Ridicule me! Alright, move on. Oh, Rinny, so you're a fisher. You're a fishing woman. Well, uh, let's see, Pocono, um, I'm not that familiar with fishing game for across the U.S., but, um, I'm gonna assume that, uh, mostly, uh, smallmouth bass? Or do you mostly fish for, uh, crappie? Because I know crappie, because I've, uh, I've actually gone fishing in Missouri, uh, Branson, Area, like the Ozarks. Um, even gone fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, but I don't even recall catching anything the whole time I went fishing, so. If you're, if you're fishing for bait. <laughs> like, from what I understand, uh, you can actually reuse uh, cut up bits of crappie for uh, catfishing, so.
time that I, the only biggest memory I happen to have, and I think there's still a photo of it, is with uh, my grandfather and I um, with a little, uh, one of those little uh, kitty fishing poles, uh, really, really rinky dink fishing poles for kids. I ended up spending about uh, five minutes struggling to get a fish in until my grandfather just finally said, you start, you want to reel it. You don't want to just yank on it. Uh, so about five, it took me five minutes to reel in a, uh, a really, really small fish. Once we got out of the water, I said, uh, well, actually, before I got out of the water, I said, oh my god, it must be a, a whale. And then my grandfather says, nope, it's a goldfish. Congratulations. It took you five minutes to angle a goldfish. And sure enough, somebody dumped a goldfish in, in Branson Lake. tried to keep the stock. It was just the way it turned out. Um, and I think I probably lost at least seven lures in there because they even had a fountain in there. Uh, so I ended up, I kept on getting all my lures caught in the actual, uh, in the fountain line. It was, it was really annoying. But I did try those banjo uh, minnow lures. Uh, those worked great for catching bass. thing I truly can say I've ever caught was, has always, uh, has and always will been a, uh, a crappie. I've never really caught uh, bass or anything other than the goldfish. Uh, nothing else has ever been caught. I, I've even gone to uh, uh, sporting show competitions uh, or sporting show uh, 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 well it's like boating shows and all that and they'd actually have uh, little trout ponds. Uh, so where you could just do a little bit of fly fishing in hopes that you could uh, convince the, uh, the trout to actually bite. I was always sad because every single year I was that one person that never could actually get one to actually hook or get one to actually bite. Nonetheless, uh, everyone else, feel free to chime in with your favorite uh, fishing stories if you got one. So I'm sure everyone has one, whether it be embarrassing or if if you feel it's too embarrassing to share, feel free to mention it was a friend or something. Because I have heard of a few folks that ended up. Uh, accidentally hooking their own family a couple times when they were trying to cast on a lure. I don't really eat fish either, so, but uh, saying that you're a fan or not a fan of them is always going to be based off of how you can handle them when you're trying to catch and release them.
Curse you, you little beat up station wagon. You just. I can't catch up to you. Unless I ran you off the road. Passing me. <laughs> Woohoo! Back on the road again with a no passing lane. Wait, did I just see red and blue in my rear view? That station wagon must have got pulled over. Yay! Actually, the downside with this game is they didn't actually make these uh, turning signs highly reflective, so uh, it's kind of nice. I'm actually I'm used to always spotting high reflective uh, signs for for warning turn or sharp turn. I was actually going to try out a few additional mods to see if I can come up with a different truck cab, um, but I uh, spent a little bit shy on time trying to look into some certain ones, uh, basically to see some of the uh, 3D modeling effects uh, that other folks in the community have actually managed to do. So I'm so truly sorry to those of you that are interested in what other mods I've tried. So uh, clearly the only mods I've actually done is the uh, Steam Workshop, the uh, dashboard, changing the light screen, and uh, the high reflective mod, so that's all I've really done, so I haven't really have to modify this game. But the DLC is worth it, because carbon fiber green uh, steering wheel, I like it when the light's on it. Seriously hope it's an overpass. 
Yay, it is! Perfect. I'm always interested in other people's uh, fishing spots. Part of the reason why I still will occasionally go to uh, Lake of the Ozarks just to find out everyone else's little hidey holes for uh, where they like to try and fish. So I actually I got to know a few folks that actually prefer uh, uh, net fishing uh, Lake of the Ozarks. So. And I mean actual throw netting. Uh, so just trying to go for cropping mostly so they'd actually try and pay people five dollars for their leftover Christmas trees too every holiday too so it's kind of funny hearing that uh, they actually uh, basically almost turn one of the uh, one of their fishing boats into a uh, into a Christmas tree barge in a way I wish I could have gotten a photo of it but yeah it's interesting the way people uh, handle their fishing and most of the trips, too. I remember one lady said that she ended up going hunting, but uh, didn't get uh, very far because of how heavy the rain was. Okay, well, yeah, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could actually send me the photos. I'd, I'd actually like to look at those. And if you feel like sharing them on Discord for everyone, that's okay, too. But if you want to share them with me personally, that's, that's even fine, too. Yeah, certainly. Because I'm actually probably going to conclude my stream here probably about 8 o'clock. Or, I'm sorry, not 8 o'clock. Uh, 9 o'clock. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to panic some of those of you that are just not tuning in. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. Alright, what do we have to explore in this area? We got a whole little area. So, let's, uh travel up here, get that spot. Oh, really, Luke? You would have done a better parking job? Well, let's see you try and play American Truck Driving Simulator. Let's see that for one of your streams. Good shot.
granted, part of the reason why I'm just going to go up here and get this is because I'm looking forward to when the next state does have an unlock to the north, and never that will be. And I'll just already have the road down, so. That way, if multiple routes happen to open up all of a sudden, then. The Cone Monster! Traffic guns, they're always following me. Not out to get me, I know it. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this will probably eventually be turned into some form of development area where it'll be added as a new town or something. So this is probably just the outskirts of a farm town. Oh, just the, the edge of Morgan. Let's see if we can find a motel or something uh, if we can actually fall asleep at, and we'll get back on to finding our way through some 
more back roads, or taking the road less traffic. Fall asleep entirely. Oops. Sorry, didn't mean to clip you. sleep here. I'm a paying customer. Damn motels. They don't allow truckers. Oh, look, they got a pool. of interest I can add to? Nope, doesn't look like it, but if there's a job here that I can do in this area to... nope. Looks like shortest route would be Reno. We 
can deliver stuff to Fresno! Or head to Oakland. Uh, who wants to deliver things to Oakland? Not I. Come back here later and we'll explore the rest of the town, actually. Uh, not yet. Um, basically, there's a mod that allows you to do multiplayer, from what I understand, for hearsay. And there's a Euro truck driving simulator mod already out um, that I've actually played a few times, but uh, left the community because there was a lot of folks that were just, you know, doing. Uh, trolley stuff, such as leaving their uh, trailers, blocking main uh, intersections, or keeping people from finishing the deliveries in towns. Just things like that. Um, basically, being being complete and total dicks about things that, you know, they, it's really unwarranted. Especially when folks just want to roleplay. But, I mean, that was the last time I played. Um, there was actually... Uh, last time I heard, you could actually do entire businesses or companies or whatever. And uh, hire on additional player drivers to do work for you. But uh, there was always restrictions for some of those companies, which was no speeding tickets allowed on your, on your uh, record. So... And speeding tickets just say that you're trying to get, you know, Hall Heine to get that, uh, that product there, so. That's the Euro truck. Uh, for me, I'm more of a fan of the American one. So, simply because bigger truck, in my opinion, although I am not trying to compensate ladies, I'm fine the way I am. I love my body. All oh, fluffy and, and big that I am. Because I am one husky mother. But Gabriel Iglesias, I am fluffy. Should have actually checked to see what the route was. I'm gonna be traveling. Oh, yeah, I should have gone this way. Um, is it too late to change the route and <laughs> spin back around on the intersection?
Alright, so this is one of those things that most folks would try to report in uh, Euro Truck Driving Simulator multiplayer. Blockage such as that, where somebody will actually try to do these uh, lane changes like this. They're highly illegal. Or driving the wrong way down uh, highways just to drive the wrong way while in multiplayer. understand why there's people that just want to get into a multiplayer and just be pure dicks about things, but I mean, this the game has great potential if if you could actually uh, you know get in and just role play like an actual true trucking company. I mean, yeah, I've been a dick a few times, but that's only to the NPCs because I feel better if I'm actually you know a dick to the NPCs rather than an actual player because an actual player is just in it to try to get to enjoy, relax. Unwind, much like you and I, we're all just here to relax, unwind, forget the troubles of the day job, let it just mellow out, and just enjoy the music, enjoy the entertainment. psychologically, such as staring at it and wondering, can I block the dog's path and will it play with me in that process? Because usually nine times out of ten, the dog is going to try and play with you if you keep blocking its path. But I'm not saying to go straight up and go animal abuse on, on your animals and pets, I'm just saying. All you want to do is just block people and see how much fun you can have in blocking them. Do it to your pet. If you're if your pet's trying to get someplace, feel free to block them, not, not actual players, not other people that are just trying to relax and have fun. Simply because the reason why you do it to, a, to your pet or your animal, they're going to give you feedback on whether or not they like that or not. That's the downside to the anonymity of the internet as well. Uh, a lot of folks don't realize that, yeah, they can be a douche about it. Um, yeah, they can try to be anonymous about it, but, I mean, why do that anyways? And just to say, why not, still leads to the primary question as to, why do it? I mean, is it a joy making somebody else's life a living hell? I mean, what brought you to the point to making somebody else's life a living hell when they're just trying to get into relax, to unwind, playing something that's not meant to be player versus player, um, but it's just more of like a, you know, a co-op in a way, or just to chill out and relax with one another, I mean, it's, this, 
this would actually be classified underneath. I mean, it's a simulator game, but it's um, it's like a lifestyle game in a way. I mean, I just posted a video about this in, in a couple of discords um, that Extra Credits has already done a fabulous job of putting together games that actually happen to have a lifestyle um, element to them, such as longevity, the ability to actually see other people, you know, improve on their on their gameplay and grow on it. Uh, some simulators actually do this very well, where you can spend hours upon hours exploring, finding new content, finding new goodies, um, just to find out that you just gotta learn something brand new, or uh, modify it just to- oops, crap. Alright, I was not expecting that. Well, shit. So, yeah, for the most part, I'd agree. A lot of folks just do it just to cry about it. Then once it finally happens to them, they just cry about it as well. I mean, for me, I mean, y'all have seen my gameplay in GTA. I, I actively try to reach out and actually help other players um, and basically go with the whole philosophy: treat others as you wish to be treated. Oh, you're just shooting me just for the hell of it? All right, I'll treat you the same way. I mean, I've done that a few times, yes, but I only, I only do it after I'm being provoked. Is it fun for them to receive the punishment? Uh, some of them find it a lot of fun, because uh, they feel like they're getting the engagement that they want. Um, but for those of us that just don't really want to do that, we just have a hard time just trying to find a place to get away from doing that, or having that, uh, that actual form of engagement occur. I already forgot what I'm transporting, I just completely screwed up. Flower, yeah. Good luck on getting my bonus now. A lot of folks would be amazed at how much more money they can actually earn in, uh, in certain video games if they just work together. I mean, there's more money in co-op, and even though most game mechanics actually you know, try to pitch you against player versus player, but in the end, as soon as I just now realized I completely missed my turn... Son of a bitch! Um, but most people don't realize it. I mean, there is there is more fun to be had in doing co-op stuff than there is PvP. I mean, yeah, you can get some interesting interactions in player versus player, but co-op, yeah, much better, in my opinion. There are people that do happen to get in co-op games and decide to just be dicks anyways. I think it's kind of fun, and then they'll actually then blame the rest of the team for not being better. Um, I've actually had this once where I actually did teach a, uh, a group of teenagers and young uh, children on how to actually do streaming. 
Um, and after we get done, you know, doing the whole streaming bit, you know, teaching them how to actually get set up for all that and whatnot. And we got done with the teaching part. We just pretty much sat down. We started playing uh, one of my personal favorite games, Drone Operations Combined Arms Gold. Uh, now, for me, those of you that have not played with me long enough, you happen to know that I happen to play with Friendly Fire turned on. Uh, mostly because it actually adds an air of caution to how you play the game. Like, it really forces you to really focus on where you're shooting. And one child just said that he was bored to tears waiting for enemies to come up, so he would end up shooting us at the very beginning every single time. Not realizing the fact is that all we're trying to do is we're just trying to head out to actually go kill the enemy, and the kid's just bored out of his mind at the beginning because he just wants to kill things. And said it was more enjoyable and more fun for him just to shoot us, so excluded the kid and he kept on begging me and then uh, to let him back into the, into the server so kept on telling him no. And after, you know, letting him have three chances after he said he would stop, but uh, fourth time I was asked to let him back in uh, because the kid just kept on going please and I kept on changing up the, the phrasing of the word no. So that way he could understand the words no. No! 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 For about a good five minutes. So, yeah, if you're gonna be a douche about the stuff, <laughs> don't expect to be accepted everywhere. So you're just gonna keep burning bridges, things are gonna get lost. Sorry, actually I need to pause in order to read what Rennie just typed. This one time I was by uh, an instance and there was these guys scaring everyone so I would stealth up, zap them, and run in the instance. I took off my PvP and no one knew where I, <laughs> knew I was there. But yeah, so as long as you go after the, the additional trolls, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, there's been so many instances where folks think they can get away with something, and usually the developers will always find an interesting way to, to have karma come back to bite them in the ass. I mean, I think, uh, what was it, some zombie game, uh, H1Z1 I think it was, uh, removed all the hackers and then would unban their accounts if they were to do a YouTube public video apology. Actually showing their face doing the apology or something like that. So, to me, that's that was interesting to see. I don't miss WoW. It's just it was really annoying the uh, just going through and then running into uh, PVPers that would just try to go after players that were just trying to get to their own instances or mixing themselves amongst the uh, the other uh, enemy AI. Especially in tutorial and trainer areas. I was really annoyed by that.
Here's the thing. I, it almost seems like a lot of developers will try to do benefit of the doubt, but it's just more of... My best example right now for how things are handled worse than anything else would be Rockstar's Social Club uh, right now, with how they actually handled the uh, modders. Like, you try to report them, but it still would keep them in the session with you. And then, even if you happen to be running additional software, such as OBS, or Discord, or TeamSpeak, or what have you, you still end up getting hit with uh, notifications of saying, hey, you're doing spot hacking, or whatever, or you're in the vicinity of another hacker, so there you go, you're getting punished for that. Uh, another stupid one that I actually recall was um, 4Z. Uh, the one that was supposed to be the similar knockoff to Daisy, but uh, but uh, they ended up actually banning people that actually just had items in their inventory that they could have picked up off of another player that actually hacked. Um, that you know they just said, well, you have an item that could only be achieved by hacking, so you're being banned and your account's being locked out, yada yada, yada and you're not getting a refund because you were flagged for hacking because you had a hacker to item in your inventory. So I've seen plenty of examples where things were just, no, wrong, bad, shame, and nothing was ever done about it. I mean, granted, the developers, as soon as they did that, they actually were even banning people that were actually, you know, talking about how it was already wrong, and then they actually banned those people as well from the game, saying, you know, there's another way to do this. Basically, add an ID tag to whoever tried to pick up the item, and then ban that person who was the first to pick it up. Uh, or there was constructive criticism that was actually brought um, to light towards the developers, and they actually started banning people in the community that were actually trying to help. Now, granted, you know, there's there's an air of ignorance that can actually occur, which somebody's gotten me a little bit upset. And then you got the developers for this game right now. They're they're very open. They they're very open ideas. Um, I mean, they. You know, folks have been asking for the American Trucking Simulation uh, simulation for quite some time, and lo and behold, they finally did it. I mean, we have a simulator. Um, granted, do we have to pay for DLC to unlock the rest of the states? Yes, but I find that as a you know as a worthwhile um, investment because each state's going to have its own little nook and cranny. But um, could it possibly be changed slightly? I mean. What if we were to say DLC bundle would be two additional states each time? If they can manage to, you know, turn that out on a development platform, I would greatly enjoy this game further. But, um, but as far as I know, development stages are always going to take a lot longer. Plus, you have each state has its own unique set of, uh, of laws for the road uh, that happen to be very unique for trucking companies or truckers. Then you have uh, rest stop exclusives, hidden roads, back roads, marked roads, unknown roads, um, roads less traveled, um, locations that are you know unique uh, that are supposed to make it look like it has a little bit of flair for folks that are just wanting to do sightseeing versus actual deliveries, and things that just make that state unique or locations that make it look unique. Um, for me. I honestly cannot wait till they include uh, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Nebraska, Minnesota, maybe, maybe, just, maybe just a little bit of Minnesota. I mean, it would be kind of cool to see that I'd be transporting snowmobiles to Minnesota. That would be kind of.
Oh yeah, hacking was really bad in Diablo 2 and 1, I do recall that. Um, even though I only, it was so bad that I actually barely played it. Um, because other folks would just somehow miraculously get kick-ass gear while I'm stuck there with, uh, with low pittance stuff. Always upset me too. It's like, really? You got that rare three times in a row. That's not believable. New Mexico has not been released yet. Good question, Doc G. Uh, terribly sorry to give you bad news. Um, but I am looking forward to New Mexico actually being released. Um, I right now, as for right now, I'm just uh, trying to travel the roads least traveled. Get the get the rest of the map updated. So, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get the rest of uh, New Mexico added in here, because that'll be interesting. And then finally get the additional four additional states. So that way we can finally get um, this road taken care of. Everyone wants to travel. Northeast is just going to be a straight line for... <laughs> Peter, welcome, thank you for chiming in. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty interesting too, yeah, a straight line. Um, but no, uh, I, yeah, I guess going back on what I was previously saying about design and development for this game, um, yeah, if, if they were to turn out uh, a new state every five months, or if they were to try and push, say, two states every five months, I could easily see the entire Northeast just being a straight shot line. Like, forget 435 through Kansas and Missouri, forget uh, I-35 from Kansas City down to, uh, I forgot how far south uh, I-35 happens to travel, uh, forget uh, Route 66 because that, um, I mean, we're already kind of in the area. Actually, here, let me just take a quick peek. Um, Route 66 should be. See, that's I 70, or I'm sorry, uh, Route 70, Route 60. Um, yeah. Route 66 should be in here, but uh, yeah, I don't see it. But there's Route 95, Route 6. Um, there's uh, State Park 375. I mean, yeah, there's there's plenty of roads that a lot of folks would like to have included in, in the actual map that they could just travel and say, oh, that's kind of a cool. I mean, there's already uh, traffic code monsters enough in this game. I, I, I really enjoy that. Ooh, Nebraska. Yeah, I, I, Peter, I think you came in just after I mentioned uh, how I'd like to have uh, Nebraska, Minnesota, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. Hey, Turtle, welcome to the stream. Actually, terribly sorry, I need to actually pause the game in order to read what was just typed. Yeah, yeah, uh, US 66 would actually be neat to actually see in here. Um, even though about the closest that we can get is... Uh, Interstate 15. Even though it actually currently stops right here in Las Vegas. Although it's supposed to go up uh, into, uh, yeah. So we we all know. Well, a good chunk of us know where uh, Interstate 15 is supposed to go. So it's not supposed to just stop. I'm 
pretty sure for every person that happens to travel Route 66 in the game, there will probably be that endless playthrough of music going, come get your kicks off of Route 66. Traveled the route uh, that goes straight into Oregon that's been pre built, so at least that's good to know that they already have that, uh, that route already pre added in. So, um, just for state line uh, to, uh, to Oregon from uh, crap, where were we? Yeah, we we're at uh, Wernwick, so yeah, just right there along state line, right into Oregon. So, that's it's nice to see that that's already that's already done. Now Hornbrook, yeah, that probably is already there. It's just it probably cuts off somewhere up here. Or I'm sorry, I think no, I I don't I don't fully recall. It's been a while since I last looked at a fully completed roadmap. Peter, if they did that, then American Trucking Simulator would then turn into a highway simulator, where or uh, a route traveling simulator, which then, I mean, all the purpose in the world uh, would allow for folks to actually say, well, I want to be able to modify it and get a small sedan, and I just want to travel, rather than actually doing trucking jobs. I mean, I could easily see that. I mean, people just want to get in and travel. I mean, I was already happy to see the mysterious lights in Arizona. Although I would like to travel to New Mexico right now. I've never actually been to New Mexico in, uh, before, personally, but I would like to see what they happen to have for New Mexico. Uh, I've been to California, I've been to Arizona, I've been to Florida, Kentucky, Louisiana, Texas, uh, Arkansas, uh, Oakland uh, area as well, uh, Oklahoma, some various parts of Oklahoma, and a large chunk of Kansas, Colorado, um, I'm not, I, I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to uh, Colorado uh, being in this game. Because Colorado's going to be a butt. No, crap. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to navigate. Especially if they decide to turn it into the winter uh, months for uh, Colorado. Now, granted, seeing weather elements in this game to actually include snow, rain, and all that uh, jazz, that would be an interesting mechanic to see how this turns out. Like actually having to spend time to actually put snow chains on during the uh, during the winter weather. Oh, turtle! You haven't seen the mysterious lights? I'll have to I'll have to go back through and I'll have to try and see if I can clip those from the earlier section of the video. Then, um, but yeah, that was that was really early on. I actually had a couple of additional viewers. Wait. Oh, wait, those are fighter jets. Never mind. I was like, wait, am I in the area again? But actually, where was I? I actually pulled off to spot those lights. Um... Yeah, here. It was actually right here. Um, right between Poichi, Las Vegas, and Tanofa. 
So I just, I pulled off into here and all the lights were over here off to the uh, south west-ish or west area. So, but mostly they traveled. Oh my goodness, it was, it was a sight to pull up and see, so. Just pulled off to the side of the road. Watched the rest of the lights doing their little dance stuff, so. And I knew it was no fighter jet. I saw UFOs! Oh no, wait, that's just helicopter. Yeah, just stop right in at that rest stop there and wait till nighttime, and then that's when you'll start seeing the funny lights. Because they're set on an endless loop, so you should be able to actually spot them at least once. I mean, I had to jackknife the truck and the trailer um, just to be able to get out of the, uh, out of the trailer park because of the way I pulled in there. Once you, once you do happen to get the time window where you're driving during the nights, that's usually best traffic time is always nights. I mean, Peter, you'd agree, right? Tra lace traffic uh, and stuff during the evenings and late nights. As a true trucker in my chat, you know, the voice of reason. Definitely way less uh, Department of Transportation out there checking to make sure that uh, you're weighing in and all that. I used to work at a gas station, and we actually closed uh, up just before uh, before midnight, usually uh, like 11 o'clock at nights. And every single time we get our deliveries during the day, the drivers would just always say, "You guys are the tail end of our deliveries." And we hate it every single time because we have to wait till you guys happen to get up or till you guys get in. And usually, I'll happen to get in. Uh, I actually worked mornings and evenings. So it was a pain in the butt getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and then also going home, taking a nap, and then coming back in and then closing up the shop uh, for an additional
additional uh, six more hours. That's an unusual uh, intersection. I've honestly never seen that before. Uh, as we can all see, Luke is late to the party. Everyone's been here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Luke. Welcome back. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm pulling that pedal down. I'm <laughs> I mean, it's pedal to the metal. I mean, actually here, let me see what do I got um, I don't know if you can see this here let me just go ahead and do this real quick um, there we go uh, there's the current stats I currently have for this truck so those of you that are interested might want to take a screenshot of that So, um, basically, we're looking at engine horsepower of a 625 horsepower. Um, engine torque is uh, 2,000 at a uh, 1,200 RPM with a, uh, well, yeah, pretty much uh, with one hell of a gearbox, so. But, uh, I mean, 18-speed 18, uh, 18 gearbox is actually nothing to, you know, say is bad. <laughs> But nonetheless, okay. Now the game just doesn't want to play with me. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, I mean, it makes for a great combination. And yes, I am hauling ass. Uh, I think I've lost track of the number of times I've crashed my my cab now. So, but uh, yeah, I've already I've already screwed up the trailer at the beginning. Oh yeah, the starters are a little less uh, powerful, uh, but hey, all I recall is the key was once you reach level 20, you're set for whatever engine and uh, transmission you want, and that should actually do you some pretty good justice for having enough torque to get you where you need to go, uh, no matter how heavy a load you got. So I got a pretty light load. I've see myself actually get all the way up to 100 miles per hour uh, a few times uh, during tonight's stream, so... Oh no! Tumbleweed! Frog of the day! We survived. I was kind of picturing myself flying over these hills. There we go again. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that's it. I'm stop. I'm gonna stop trying to read chat. Just stop trying to read chat while I'm taking turns. Wow, I am not making this any better on myself. I'm gonna read chat. Hold on. <laughs> well, oh, you're happy to see me having the hammer down for once. Uh, you had to drive a starter, which was less powerful. Uh, sticking with the Viper 389 with a 810 horsepower. Okay, yeah. Um, 18 speed, uh, 270 or 2.7 gearbox, and uh, you did get a sleeper cab though because you didn't want my avatar to sleep sitting up. <laughs> okay. Now we're caught up with chat. As long as there is no lengthy dialogue. So, but yeah, okay. I, part of me is also um, still working through um, feeling sick today, so. But uh, I gotta say, I'm doing so far so good. I mean, I haven't totaled the truck. I mean, granted, I already did that on day one of getting the truck, but still. That damn uh, uh, road divider came out of nowhere. Got the hammer down. knew what was up. It didn't want to be uh, need its own services. Oh, go eat shit, officer. <laughs> 1 1.7 miles to a gallon. Oh, yeah. Somebody's clipping all this. If not, I'll probably have to go back and highlight it all. Wait. Really? I don't see an officer. that speeding ticket come from? Well, 
I tried to give him ample warning. Oh. That's right, I got places to be. Oh, thank you, Flying Turtle. Greatly appreciate the cheer. Yes. Respect my for time! Okay, flying turtle. I'm used to getting the stick of everything, so. Should I make that right hand turn? Yes! I'm making it for you! Aw, thank you, turtle. I'll have to visit a service center. <laughs> Actually, in just that little bit of road rage, I'm actually not curious how badly I've screwed up the cab. Okay, only 19%. Wheels are still undamaged, but the chassis is screwed to hell. But Turtle, thank you. That makes you my top cheer, so thank you very much. I do greatly appreciate it. I always need the nickels. But we want quarters! Lots and lots of quarters! Not tokens! Just quarters! You officer, jeez. Go on the speed limit that I post for myself. Stupid cabby. Thank you, Carter. Greatly appreciate that. Little by little, each month we'll have something new, thanks to the generous contributions from subscribers like you. Thank you very much, oh. Carter. But not to forget, all these subscriptions go to better improve my streams, such as me getting possibly a USB monitor that allows me to actually read chat a lot better. Uh, possibly pay for an actual emoji for my chat.
what the heck? Enjoy 50% off select produce? Oh. At Eddie's? Well, hopefully they like discount flour. Alright, we're just gonna jackknife it. Thank you, Carter, for all of your requests. Name a character. Homer. Don't! Uh, Carter, that cannot be applied to this. Screwing this up. Alright. Level it out. Go straight to the right. Let's try this again. To be perfectly honest, I actually do not even know what you mean by playstyle Simpsons, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'd like to accommodate, but I honestly don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean. I'll admit, I am greatly confused on how to actually do this right now. Screw the bonus points. Uh, I am already tired. Alright. Let me go ahead and get chat pulled up again, because I actually had to pull up a separate window to read that. Um, just find a nuclear reactor. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess the next best thing would be for me to actually stream an IRL of me playing an arcade game called The Simpsons. Which I did actually find one of those, but I I need to be able to probably get something like a GoPro or something. Uh, let's see, name a character. Um, let's take a quick look see at the event listing. Yeah, I don't believe there's going to be a game that's going to allow me to actually name a character anytime soon. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I cannot really accommodate for The Simpsons right now, and these are pretty much for at the time, 
we're just gonna go ahead and refund these. Just for right now. That way, um, that way they stay open for if there does happen to be something that's that does actually pertain to a game that I am playing, and that can be taken care of as well. So I will also get the um, Steam ad taken care of here. Um, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and conclude for the night, and I'll actually get uh, get those two knocked out there for you, Carter. I'll. Be sure to follow you up on Twitter and get you added in as a friend on Steam. Inspector Gadget. Um, uh, yeah, no, no, um, yeah, so I truly am sorry. I'd, I'd like to try to accommodate, but I mean, about the closest thing I can really do is add a nameplate onto the truck that says Homer, but. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you have um, drivers. I mean, here, I'll see if there happens to be a driver I could hire named Homer. Robert, Wilma, Thomas, Peter, Jean, Esteban, Toby. Uh, Yoma, uh, Alvin, and Nicola. Yeah, sorry, no Homer. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess with that, I guess I will go ahead and save here and then fix up the truck for Monday. <laughs> After doing all that, uh, those of you that would like to actually go through the uh, the video again and rewatch from the beginning, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, those of you that were originally tuning in to watch Deadpool, um, Deadpool was actually already finished um, at 30 minutes into the stream. So truly sorry to those of you that were tuning in to watch Deadpool tonight. So uh, I was thinking of doing a live piano play, but um, it's already kind of... Come and gone. Drehan, welcome. Sorry, you just caught us at the very tail end of the stream tonight. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find us all a raid target, and we are going to take this party on over to that individual. So in the meantime, those of you that are watching for the very first time, please stay in chat to receive your in-stream bonus points for tonight. Uh, in-stream bonus points can be used for what you just saw Carter doing, which is uh, Revel of Redemption rewards, or actually partaking in the game giveaway that is uh, currently ongoing uh, to be unlocked for this month. So, there you go, there's all your bunch of everybody. We're just gonna take a quick look-see and see who's still alive right now. Let's see if we can send you their way. Alright, well, it says here that one of my community buddies is currently streaming right now as well. But, uh, I'm just gonna quickly check on something, so... Alrighty, folks. Uh, looks like we do happen to have one person that is still currently live. Uh, that's actually part of the new community that I've joined up for, uh, which is the Crady Crew. Uh, so, those of you, please feel free to go ahead and join me for tonight's raid um, with uh, uh, Crazy Boy. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and show them a little bit of uh, <laughs> a little American trucking simulation fun. So, love. So, here's the link. Uh, see you all over in his chat. 
Um, be sure to give them a big hello and let them know that, uh, that I sent you. So let's commence this raid.